Welcome back to the Oi Real Pro. This is round four Heat 12 action. You've got Kanoa, Igarashi, Kolohe Andino, and Julian Wilson in the lineup. An international super heat representatives of the USA, Japan, and Australia. And unfortunately for Guvea, he's out. Rodriguez advancing through in second place. This is while we were at break. Kolohe Andino gets us started. Yeah, Kolohe Andino, I'm sure he... Uh I'm not sure whether he saw that, but I guarantee you he heard it. He's going to be fired up. You know, Kolohe is uh, not bad in the area himself, so let's kind of see where he goes. Obviously, a six-point ride on that first wave. You can say is, I hope we see more of that, because any time that happens, uh, you hear the crowd fire up, and we know you fans watching at home get excited. And here goes Julian Wilson, a man fully capable of uh, throwing fireworks. Oh. Anytime he takes off and... There's that end section that has been the thorn in the side at the beginning of all these heats so far this morning. Yeah, and you know, it's got a little bit of lump and wobble in it, so you've got to be really careful with your timing. Still got a nice texture on the face of the wave, Julian Wilson. One of the best backhand attacks in my eyes. I mean, that bottom turn, top turn combination that he has is just so silky smooth. You, know, you, you would almost think underrated, but yeah. of course he is wearing the Jeep no. Ratings leader jersey. He's not jersey. underrated. He's, he's a world top title rated. Threat. Exactly. And he's now, up. in real time, yep. Italo went out. You've got to make sure if you have a bad result, you've got to pull yourself back into it next uh, on the next one. Igarashi now with priority. Finds himself a kind of a mid-sized wave. Nice snap to start it off. Deep bottom turn, straight back into the open face. A solid start. Here for Igarashi as he's hoping for something to uh, form up through this inside section. Now building speed. Gets a little ramp to work with. Kicks the tail out. Goes down. Solid first turn there. Backed it up with a few kind of setup maneuvers. Waiting for that big finish. Didn't really uh, pan out for him. But a nice way to start his heat nonetheless. Um, and as I said, he's got the air game. We saw a little bit of that. Very similar styles from all these guys. They're having that nice wide stance. That big low bottom turn, top turn snap. And that's the thing on the backhand, you know, it simplifies things. So you can actually focus on really connecting with those big backside hooks. And then obviously if you're uh, the likes of Felipe Toledo, go to the air as well. But, you know, Julian's got the air game, so does Kolohe and this kid as well. So we're going to see some fun. There's that bottom turn, top turn snap, throwing a lot of spray out the back. Nice deep bottom turn again, just the extension of the body, pushing off that back foot and then milking it through the inside. So... Kanoa Igarashi, not a huge score, 3.83, so at the moment Kolohe and Dino with the pick of the bunch, and this heat is flying by, 21 and a half, 21 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. And you think strike rate, they're all right up there, very consistent, now it's up to Andino, get things rolling, two big snaps to start off, has that big section to finish. Sometimes the closeout can do you favors right there, making for an exciting ending to that wave. And Dino, one, two, three, punch. Straight into it, a lot of flow. Yeah. Quickly doing those three turns, but uh, not making it look like it was forced. Everything right in its proper place. Another good score, just about to get locked in for Kolohe. And let's have a look here. He draws off the bottom. Watch this next bottom turn. As he comes down, just straight into it. I mean, that was right on the edge right there. You could almost hear the board squealing off the bottom as he hooked into that maneuver. So started with a six, he's gonna back it up. Now let's see, with those two good scores under his belt, is he gonna go to the air? And better at that rail game. 19.45 to go here, having to uh, give way to Julian Wilson. That was Igarashi without priority. Julian utilizing that P next to his name, meaning he can pick any wave he wants. And uh, so far, Julian, about second, third gear on this wave, just kind of adding to that score. You know, not uh, adding a lot of risk, but doing nice, clean, powerful backside hooks all the way down the line. And he was able to hold off Igarashi, so it didn't give him the opportunity, but uh, definitely backed his score up there. He started with a 4-6-7. I think that might be right along the lines of that first score. Didn't fall off at the end. Yeah, so he had the finishing maneuver. He had the finishing maneuver, which I think is going to accentuate the score. You can see just taking his time, fitting his turns in nicely, making sure he keeps that rail nice and clean. And it can make a big difference in that score. And right there, kicking the tail out just to finish that off. So uh, I'm seeing that go up a little higher. Might rival uh, Kolohe's first wave, which was a six. He backed it up with a 4.67. So Julian Wilson, I think, is going to be right there with him. It's going to be a close heat no matter what. I mean, all these three guys, very similar skill sets. Very similar styles as far as that wide 
sort of real solid, uh, you know, stance with that big bottom turn, top turn combo, and there we go. Scores yeah. drop for uh, Julian. And that's what we want to hear happen for the future of surfing, not just sport, but also for play and pleasure. Save the waves, and here we go, Igarashi, back to the business at hand. You know, he's destroying this wave, that's for sure. Nice surfing from Kano Igarashi. You know, you touched on the fact uh, before we went to that break, he needed to get going to get himself back into the seat, and that's exactly what he's done. He's got to finish off on his feet. Does he? Incomplete ride. But uh, Kano Igarashi, that's definitely going to be his best score, and it's going to get him right back in the mix. So there's that uh, big snap off the top, throwing a lot of water out the back of the wave. Didn't quite have that nice uh, inside line. So it was going to be tricky to finish this one off. Watch how the white water sort of almost collides with him and wipes him down there. Takes the board from underneath his feet. Have to go. Julian Wilson with second priority. Sneaks this wave from underneath Andino. Starts it off, setting things up, hoping for this wave to grow down the line. Second setup maneuver. Here we go. Julian Wilson starting to coil up. It's a better turn for his third. Off the bottom, gets around that section. Nicely placed fourth turn. Now this thing's starting to stand up on the inside. Goes vertical, timing it perfectly with the lip. Julian Wilson now completing his wave, trying to better a four, six, seven with four big turns like that. Uh, each manoeuvre became more significant. Each manoeuvre, there was a bit more power and pressure put into those turns. And now, that's these what you've got to do. first two turns, these setups, are those scored by the judges? Absolutely. I mean, it's... Um, they just you know, add a little bit. They're not consequential manoeuvres, but it's just putting them in the right place. It's finding that rhythm, that groove, that sweet spot, so to speak. And right here, whammo, that last turn. Critical stuff there from Julian and rides out. So Julian Wilson looking to improve on a 4.67. You know, this is all set up work for the inside, and that's where you really do have to have the... You know, get the speed up. You know, get that momentum going through the inside, and then it's going to give you that sweet spot to then connect with a couple of big turns to finish off. So Julian Wilson looking sharp. Good way to do it. So speaking of going around the world, Julian Wilson with the backside reverse. Eight minutes, 35 seconds to go. Igarashi discombobulated, off balance, has to pull out. Now in second priority is Andino. Not surfing over and above either, just keeping some left in the tank, which you need to do as well. Andino now held on to priority for the better part of the last six minutes. So now he's engaged. Quick snap. This wave growing, like that second turn, a lot of power. Uh -huh. Third turn, sending spray into the sky, gets around this section, goes vertical again. And uh, there's the passion that we see from Andino when he thinks he's done something to get the judge's attention. He will make it known. Hello, Andino, looking to improve on a 4.67. Brother, up and riding here on the replay. I love the body extension that he has, you know, that. It sort of rotates, the upper body sort of spins and then the bottom half follows. It's almost a like a coil. Wham! There it is again. So multiple turns for Andino. And again, you watch this passion here that he's got firing himself up. And, you know, when something feels good, let it out. You know, uh, show the judges you're happy with what's going on and sell it to them. Create the drama. And Andino just picked off an absolute gem. You know, that's what you've got to do when you've been sitting with priority for, as you said, around about five or six minutes. Make sure that next roll of the dice counts, and I think he's done that. There you see Andino doing a good job selling the sway of Igarashi. We'll see if Igarashi can make him pay. Igarashi Ooh. up, out, drops down to third priority. And that was an excellent sales tactic from Andino. And uh, Igarashi now with a minute and a half to go finds himself tell you what, at the uh, back of the line. So if, I mean, obviously this heat is, is done and dusted. Julian Wilson moves through. He's going to get Michael Rodriguez in the quarterfinals. Colohandino, Felipe Toledo. Wow, the matchups is how fun getting is that better be? and better. Round four, heat two in the books. Julian Wilson, our Jeep ratings leader, gets the win.